I'm living that blessed life. life. Look at me now. Me now. Windows up in heaven, open, pouring blessings down. I'm living that blessed life. life. Look at me now. Look at me now. Windows up in heaven, open, pouring blessings down. Like front, back, side to side, yeah, I'm covered in his favor every time that I ride. Like front, back, side to side, yeah, I'm covered in his favor every time that I ride. Luchi gang, it is early in the morning. It's been raining out here. I just found y'all. Found the camera just sitting there in my room, and I was like, let me pick it up one time for the one time. If you're new to this channel, my name is Kelly Jean. This is Houston. My poor baby, he doesn't feel good. Kids have been sick. But before we get the video going, make sure you hit the like button, stay true, and don't be hit our life subscribe right now. Ah, I see somebody. Somebody's hiding from me. <laughs> Rode a sick also. He just went and jumped on my bed. I'm about to make them some breakfast because I have to head out. The, the older kids are upstairs asleep still. You know how that goes. But I'm about to head out. We're going to Saturday training at the office. So they're not gonna come with us. And I'll keep y'all updated throughout the day. But I don't know what should, I should make them for breakfast. Let's see. Why is it so hard to feed kids? I just offered this boy three different things and he said he don't want none. So you must not be hungry. I am. What do you want? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Ooh, is that your morning dance? He's so funny. Anyways, guys, I'm about to go run. We're probably gonna get them some breakfast because they don't want nothing from here. Yeah, so vamos. The hour right here. Oh yeah. Mr. GQ. Yeah, you know we got Saturday training every Saturday, 9 a.m. at the office. Gotta train our troops. You know what I'm saying? Make sure they equipped. I ain't wore your shoes so long. But I didn't hey. really, really have no black shoes. They're nice. Look at him. Anyways, look, it's been raining guys. I don't know if you could tell, but woke up. To some rain and I'm low-key loving it because it just makes me feel like the seasons are changing and I cannot wait for fall I cannot wait for some cool air I cannot wait for the holiday season but like I said I'm gonna update y'all right now in a little bit probably gonna fog up the humidity and I'll update y'all love my life I love my life. I love my life. I love my life. I love my life. I'd be annoying, Lucky. <laughs> but I love my life, and I always tell him. I have made it my habit that before I get into the car, I look him in his eyes and I say, I love my life. I love my life. Tell you, they came at me. Yesterday, me and the kids went on a walk in the evening, and this this dog, it's a, a little, um, what is it called? A Frenchie? A French Bulldog, all black French Bulldog. He was walking, and he just started coming at me like, rawr, rawr, rawr. it scared me. It really, really scared me. Even though I know he wasn't going to do anything, I don't know. I guess he was like really barking loud. Dudes out here jogging in the rain, they ain't doing no tripping. They said they committed. That's my, my old man right there, my buddy. I, when I go for my morning walk, he be out there every morning. Hey guys, hey my man. Shout out to my man. My, face. my man. Guys, Lucky knows my Starbucks order. Tell the baby, what's my Starbucks order? A pink drink with two scoops of matcha with some cold foam on top. <laughs> Does your man know your go-to Starbucks drink? If not, you need to teach him your go-to Starbucks drink. I didn't even have to tell him. Look at him. And he's paying. Ooh. Shut up, Kelly. <laughs> he's so funny. <laughs> yes. Yes, one. Guys, I cannot drink coffee from Starbucks no more. Like, sometimes I'll be up for it, but like, mm. Look at this. Thank you. That look nasty. If you've never had matcha, you need to give it a, a try. You just gotta make sure they sweeten it right. Mm. It's super healthy for you, so look it up. Oh! They didn't give you my straw? Yeah, it's right there. Oh. All right, just made it to the office. I love my life. 
Come on, Kelly. I love Jane. my life. <laughs> I love my life. I'm not gonna leave you alone until you say it with me. I love my life. I love my life. Cheers. All right, um, I'm about to go in here. Like I was telling you, I'm gonna teach on leadership. 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 <laughs> like he's hungry, guys, and you know it's serious because let's go. He hasn't ate. We just pulled up to Kroger, about to get a little bit of things that what we need for us to go home and cook. So yeah, let's go. He doesn't want me to bring y'all in there. Should, should we go together? Let's go together. Look at him. <laughs> He's like, hurry up, what up, girl? I don't think I'm gonna bring y'all in there. I'm a little shy also. Lucky was not lying about coming home. Oh, uh, I dropped it off my plate. <laughs> he got the steak hands with the tamales from H-E-B and these eggs. Oh, and papas. Oh, y'all thought I was playing. Brunch, brunching it up. All right, now there's food for y'all. Y'all gotta serve yourself. I've been cleaning, washing dishes. Once I'm done, I'll sit down and eat, and then I'll start making the enchiladas. Big chilling on a Saturday. This little boy on his iPad. The other one is on his Nintendo. Gigi's on her phone. Show them your pimple. Oh. <laughs> How are you? No way. Four years old, and you have a pimple. Anyways, what are you doing, G? <laughs> chilling. The clean ladies are here, and I completely forgot they were going to come. So, huge shout out to the Clue. Clue. Cleaning crew, because I've been needing help. This big old house, there's only so much I can do to maintain it. I already started on the beans, so I'm making charro beans today. It's gonna be delicious. I'm boiling the beans with some salt and some of the seasoning, I'm trying to get them soft before I throw everything else, all the other ingredients. I'll walk out through those ingredients. I'm also boiling water because I'm gonna throw some chicken in here and boil it so that I can shred it and then have it ready for the enchiladas. And then just, you know, get out of the cleaning crew's way so they can actually clean my grill and stuff. And I don't know, but I just be feeling weird like if I don't help when they're cleaning. So <laughs> I washed all the dishes. I asked the girls to put them up for me. Just dry them, put them up that way. You know, they don't have to worry about the dishes and they can just help me with like all the other stuff, which is like the restrooms, the toilets, the floor vacuuming you know all the other little details that i can't get to but i'm about to throw in the chicken i have my cutting board ready so we can start chopping everything that we need for the beans and we can throw them in there and let it all cook hopefully by the time they're done those beans are done so i can move them out of the way and they can actually clean so i'm trying to kind of hurry up and work with what i have to prep yeah, because it's a whole system, guys. I got people over there depending on me to finish so that they can do their job. So, here I go. Yo, what's good, YouTube? I need a haircut. Ooh, wee. You get a fresh cut. What? The boys are playing. Actually, Houston and Roro are playing on their tablets and stuff. They're gaming. They don't go outside. They just sit here and play games all day. Hiya, Gigi. Hiya. Hiya, Miss Lash. Hiya, Lashes. Hiya, Ulta Beauty. No! What are you playing, bro? This is my drinks. What are you playing, bro? Uh, it's a random game that we're at. What? It's not a random well, I'm already game. I'm already failing a class. What? Oh I'm already failing class. Show them You're my failing. Yes. You're great. We just started school two weeks ago. I have 103 in uh, Bro, we only got one grade on every class. I don't even know what they got going on over here. They just cooking whatever they feel like. Ah, they just have boiling water. And our stove looks a little dirty. So cut that out maybe. Yep, we just been chilling, bro. Just been chilling. School started, got busy. Haven't really been doing too much on the vlog. So we back in action. What book is this? Pretty Little Liars. What is that about? It's a group of friends and one of their friends got killed. So what does that mean? So like they try to figure out who did it. And someone's like been sending them messages and stuff. So it's one of the friends? Um, I don't know. And they're trying, they think that the person that's sending the messages is the dead friend. Bro, so it's a ghost? They don't know. That even makes sense, bro. <laughs> I'm inside a bunch. That's a lot of that. Is that the dude from Let It Shine? That's the story. Oh my gosh. I need a haircut bad, bro. I already said this, but I don't know what else to tell y'all. It's really all I got going on. School, what? life. It's gonna be my birthday, September. So, 
yo. So I got a car. Y'all seen on the vlog, I was driving to school. On the first day of school, bro, somebody hit my car. Yeah, so now it's at the shop and I've been riding the big yellow this whole time. That was a bad way to start my school year off. We live and we learn, so it should be fixed soon. Back on the road, it'll be green. Yeah. I told him that on the first day of school, I got hit by. I know I got, I got in the car wreck. You wanna help me cook? Chef Keystone? Ah, uh, sure. <laughs> so, you know what's on the menu? Nah, I just told him I have no idea why you got boiling water. Because I'm about to put chicken in there. Go get the chicken. Bam. Where's the chicken? In the fridge. Kingston actually just drove to the store to get me some oil because we ran out of the olive oil that I had. Probably in the freezer. Is it frozen? No, we just bought it. Just whoever put it up. Yeah. It was getting there. Well, we're gonna throw, open it and throw it in this water and then put a top on it. You're gonna make some enchiladas and some flautas because I know the kids don't like the red enchiladas. So every time I make enchiladas, I always have to make something else on the side so that they can eat and consume. I'm looking at my backyard and I see a cup. This should not be here. This is pretty disgusting. Should we wash it or throw it away? There was a dirty cup in the backyard. Should we wash it or throw it away? Throw it away. Throw it away. Throw it away. Wash it. What'd you say? Wash it. Throw it away or wash it? Wash it! Throw it away. That's moldy. Majority rules. Go in the trash. Anyways, be careful, it's gonna splash. You gotta cut it up too. What? Okay, just throw it in there. cooking it right away. Yeah, it's been boiling. Use your hands, son. Nah, I don't like to. You don't like to? Why? What do you not like about it? It's dirty. It's old. I mean, it's, it's... Slimy? Yeah. Gooey? Gross. I know, right? We're gonna turn it up. Then we're gonna put on top a top on it so it can boil. Then we're gonna shred it. And we're gonna, you know, set it to the side so that we can have it ready for whenever they're done, I can just, you know, do what I gotta do, roll them up, and then pop them in the oven. The beans, though, I do need to go ahead and chop everything up so that I can throw it in there because they've been boiling for maybe like 40 minutes already. So I usually let the beans boil in the seasoning and in the salt for a good 40 minutes to an hour before I start throwing everything in there. So let's talk about it. Cleaning crew just left and when I tell you they did such an awesome job, look at my bed. Ah, it smells delicious in here. Y'all, yeah. it smells so good in here. Now that my kitchen is clean, I'm about to get back to cooking. OMG, cannot wait. I'm kind of low-key hungry already, even though I ate breakfast. What's going on with you? Man, watch out. Where my channel beans at? I'm waiting. I had to move because they were going to clean. Oh, so you didn't start on them? I did. And then I put them in the oven so they can clean there. Currently shredding the chicken. How tall is Luck? We all say he's 5'3". He swears he's 5'4". I'm 5'4". <laughs> it say that. Now you're trying to hold it with your big toe. 5'3". <laughs> Wait. Actually below 5'3". <laughs> Let me see you start. You're going to be Let's get against the wall. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He's, he's trying to. I'm standing he's, straight. He's trying to. Okay, he's trying to stretch his neck. <laughs> he don't ever stretch his neck. You're five three. You're five three. Let me see. I'm going five three. Where is five three at? Oh. <laughs> he's right there. No, 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 go, 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 go. No, he's, exactly no, he's not. Hold on, he's right there. Hold on. Oh, yeah, five, five three. Five, three and a half. Five, three and a half. I ain't five, three. Five, three and a half. Five, three and a half, but I'm barefoot. If I got shoes on, five, three. Let me go barefoot. <laughs> let me go, let me go barefoot. You five, three, two. So, the reason why this whole conversation started was because he doesn't believe that I'm taller than him. And no, I said, if you're 5'4", four, I'm 5'4". Four. <laughs> That's what I said. Wait, what did you say? I said, if Kelly's 5'4", I gotta be 5'4". Go stand, <laughs> go stand over there and do it. Go, let's see. 
Go on. Okay, here, here, Leah. Not the top of your bun. No. Get my head. I am. I'm standing on bending right now. <laughs> <laughs> she always stop. She's about four and a half. No, you're lying. <laughs> I'm five four and a half. I always thought it was five four. Five, she four almost five five. So you're one inch taller than me. I'm more than one inch taller than you. I was five three and a half, you're five four and a half. He doesn't believe that I'm taller. You're so mean. Can you just understand that you are a shorty? He's in denial. He's in denial. The reason why the conversation started was because we told Gigi that she was pretty tiny. Yeah, they called me a shorty and then they were talking about heights and dad didn't want to believe he was 5'3", so <laughs> nope. So come measure him, her. Leah, uh, measure her. I'm about 5'2". <laughs> she said 5'2". Don't, don't show my cactus off. I'm about 4'11. 4'11? I was exactly 4'11. Leah's tall though. Leah's really tall. She's 5'1 and a half. She's 5'1? Babe, she's almost as tall as you. I think I'm the shortest person in the family. I got a wall of this. Because Cece's taller than me. Oh yeah, we know Cece's a big friend. Talking about enchiladas. Because the cleaning people were here, I wasn't able to show y'all the whole breakdown of all the ingredients that I put in my frijoles. But I'm gonna show y'all what they're looking like right now. Ooh. They smell super good. Look, I ended up putting pork salt, some sausage, a jalapeno, some cilantro, some onions. I need to throw some garlic in there. And I forgot what else I put in there. But the trick to the frijoles charros is your seasoning. So this is the main seasoning that I use. Then I put salt, then I put some chicken powder, and this will do the trick. I add seasoning as, you know, literally to your own taste. So yeah, beans are, I just tasted them. They're good. They still need some more time because the actual bean is not soft the way that I want it. So you just continue to boil and you add water, um, you know, as you go so that it doesn't dry up. So now, enchiladas, let's talk about it. Usually I don't like enchiladas rojas because I don't like the red sauce, but I found the best red sauce for enchiladas and I'm about to put you on. But before I show you all that sauce, I need you to pause and go hit the like button on this video. That's the least you can do, because I'm about to give you the secret sauce, literally, to the perfect red enchiladas. Okay, so I have my chicken already shredded, and now the next step is to heat up this sauce. And the way that I do it is I get the cheap red sauce, and usually people just use this one, and that's why I don't like it. But I'm only gonna water down the consistency of the real sauce, which is this one. This is Casa Martinez flavors of Mexico enchiladas roja sauce. It's a cooking sauce. And I love this sauce, guys. So yeah, this is it. This is the one I water it down because it's kind of thick. This one's kind of thick, so I water it down with this one right here, which this one's like super watery and yeah. Alrighty, um, let me get to it. I'll show y'all the steps on how I roll up my enchiladas and how I get it done. So I'm throwing the sauce in there. We're not gonna throw all of it in there just yet. And then we're gonna water it down with some of this. And this is just so that we can sauce the tortillas up. Then I have my foil pan ready. Move all of this out of the way. We got my tortillas right here. And I'm just gonna stack them. So I'm gonna. Just repeat. Sometimes the tortillas are too hard. These aren't hard and they'll break if you don't warm them up a little bit in the 
microwave so like 10 15 seconds at the most you don't want them too warm just keep saucing them up and the rest of the sauce the rest of the sauce is for you to add some flavor to your chicken so you do want to throw your chicken in here and again the kids don't really like the enchiladas so I'm not I'm, I'm not gonna use all of the chicken I'm just gonna do half of it and the other half we're gonna make some flautas I basically sauced all the tortillas up now that I'm gonna use and I just added some more oil and now I'm gonna grab my chicken because you wanna have your chicken seasoned also. Like I told you, I already shredded it. I'm only gonna use half of this. So we're gonna, and I'm trying to work with only one hand because I'm recording with the other one. Get another little good handful. Bam. Okay, chicken is seasoned. Um, I just had a phone call, so I didn't really walk y'all through how I seasoned it, but it's super simple. Add a little bit of oil, throw the chicken in there, throw a little bit of water, and put some seasoning. Low-key, I think it needs a little more flavor. So, we're gonna throw some salt. We're gonna throw a little bit more chicken powder. And then we're gonna start rolling them. Put them to the side so I can start the rice. <coughs> almost choked on the chicken. And once the rice is almost ready and the beans are almost ready, I'll pop the enchiladas in the oven to, yeah, get them cooking. I'm excited, I'm hungry. Okay, enchiladas are rolled. I'm gonna rinse this out real quick and I'm gonna pour the rest of the salsas in here. That way we can throw it on top and just, you know, sauce it up even more. And then we're gonna throw the cheese on top. And then I'm gonna get started on the rice. So that's where I'm at. Flautas, the flautas, that don't take long. And I'll make those whenever the kids um, are ready to eat because right now I don't think they're ready to eat. But I'm ready to eat as well. You know. Anyways, let's get to it. I'll show y'all the end result. I'm not going to show y'all how I make my rice because if you don't know how to make some rice by now, there's a problem. Alright guys, we are done. Enchiladas, done. Rice, done. Beans, done flautas done some of them kind of burnt but you know they're still good i'm hungry i'm about to sit down serve myself serve lucky he's not feeling too good so he's gonna eat some beans and that's it for the vlog see thank you so much for watching see y'all next time